So, big Second Amendment. We're all big, heavy on the Second Amendment. You know. You know, the president's thinking about signing an executive order where he wants to take your guns away. You hear this one. This is the new. Not going to happen. That won't happen. But that's a tough one. I think that's a tough one for him to do when you actually have the Second Amendment. That's tough. Because there's plenty of executive orders being signed. You know that. And we can't let that go on. So it'll all stop. It'll all stop. It'll stop very soon, I think, because people are tired of what's going on and they're tired of what's happening to our country. And welcome back to The Daily Wrap. That, of course, was Donald Trump speaking yesterday at a rally in South Carolina and charging that the president is considering signing an executive order that would take away Americans' guns. Given that such suggestions tend to cause a rise in gun sales, does Trump possibly own stock in a few gun manufacturers, or is there really an executive order under consideration one of which I'm unaware, that would overturn the Second Amendment and take away Americans' rights to have guns. I think I know just the right person to go to with this. Carl Higby, are you aware of a proposed executive order that would take away I'm, our guns? I'm not aware of a proposed one, but the president did say after the shooting that he was going to consider the legalities of one. Now, we all know that... No, that's not what he said. He did and say that. And as you just said, I'm going to... No, he didn't. He said he is going to consider more executive orders that would deal with the problem. Never, and I, as you know, I chronicle as well, never have I heard President Obama say, I am considering an executive order that will take away all your guns. Okay. Well, then, then let's once, be clear. Fair enough. Fair enough. But, I mean, this is exactly why I founded the Citizen League, is to address this topic, is the fact is, the left is going to have to recognize the Second Amendment does grant us, as decided in the D.C. gun you know, decision, I agree. it is an individual right to but own firearms. But that's not what we're discussing. Well, we're discussing why Donald Trump made that statement, but and I'm going to make you stick to that. That is where this is going to go. This is going to go towards what guns you can it's and not can't what he own. Said. I'm sorry, it doesn't but matter that's what not, he said. It's yes, it does matter. Acted. That's what we're talking about. But look at how he's acted. Did he's he in, tell the truth? When? Last Don't. night, when he said that the president is considering an executive order to take away your guns. He may have a ton That's of That's a yes or no. You were just telling me how easy that's to do I for don't Hillary know. Clinton. You don't know. I don't know. Does, has he presented any evidence that he does no, know? No, but he may know more than I do. Noah. No. I don't believe that Donald Trump has a secret line into the White House. Nor do I think that uh, the president of the United States can simply annul the uh, Second Amendment to the United to the to the Constitution just by virtue of an executive order. He can't order. infringe like he did on the immigration argument either. Well, he did that. Well, he, he and in Trump's defense, he pointed he made yeah. that same point. But my problem with the statement Trump did say, I don't think he can do that either with the Second well, Amendment. Democrats but love to have this both ways. Why is he going out there and saying this? Yeah. Why I, is he saying? The I'll tell you why. All right, he. Carl, when you were asked by him what did what was the statement by the president, he said, I'm going to do an executive order about this stuff. Is that yeah. specific? Did he say, I'm going to end guns? No. But when you leave open a loophole like right. about this stuff, then let's get can, real. Wait, wait, wait. What's about this stuff then mean? You can, then you can, well, I, I What's use, it mean, Rick? Me. It, I, it's an I, opening that he can no, see. No need to filibuster. I'll answer your question. The words about stuff are my words, not the president's. But if you're going to make a specific allegation, that the president is going to do this. He's going to sign an executive order taking away your guns. You don't get to interpret what he said as that. When you're saying, now, the way I interpret that, I'm afraid the president's going to sign an executive order. That's okay, but that's not what he did. He said it was happening. You know what, Rick, I think Americans have a real right to be paranoid about what Democrats want to do with guns because the, the press well, never Democrat, holds them, and I don't the want press to do never holds Democrats he, accountable for what they say. One second, let me finish my thought. Yeah. The, Hillary Clinton is on stage a couple of weeks ago and she's asked whether or not she approves of Australia's gun measures which were expressly confiscatory. Right. Yep. She says we should look into that. Who in the press has, has noted the fact that she's essentially said, mm -hmm. as president, I'm going to seek to I review have. the Second Amendment? I have. Well, you are a noted real right lovely here. exception, sir, because I yeah. haven't seen anything I, in the I agree with you and it should be discussed and you're absolutely right. And in, that's in, what in fuels that. this kind of paranoia. But that right. doesn't give, but th that can fuel the paranoia. It doesn't give a presidential candidate the right to pretend that the president is considering something which well, you acknowledge. He can say anything he's he wants. Not. He's leading in the polls. He's going to be the next president. See, that's Rick. the problem, though. Yeah, he can say whatever well, he's playing, he wants. He's clearly because playing to the crowd, but the point is, he can say, if there's an opening that there's potential for an executive order, what's it going to do? It's going to restrict in some way either how you apply a background check, which yeah, but in an open-ended way will restrict. You're leaving, you're leaving the point. He didn't go anywhere 
like that, but let's move on because I think the point's made. You would think that Trump's bombastic style and his unrealistic promises, like the one last night, would have Republicans suspicious of him, and yet he continues to lead heavily in all the polls except Iowa. Because the perception is that Obama does want to ban guns. The perception is that he does want to ban guns. It's Trump been ignited seven years, brother. Yeah, but he's only got like a year left, and yeah, he hasn't done. He hasn't. He's actually sold more guns than any other president. That's right. History, so why so. this perception that he wants to <laughs> ban because guns? Because constantly his negative remarks on guns look at Chicago. Yeah, it doesn't tell us anything except that he doesn't like guns. Except history. He's done fact. nothing to do anything to take him away. He's tried. No, no, he hasn't. Where has he sent anybody to anybody's house? I'm out of time. I could talk about this for hours. But what do you make of Donald Trump's accusations that President Obama wants to take away your guns? Let us know at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Coming up, Ben Carson is first in Iowa now ahead of Donald Trump. What's up?